I just want to say how much I've really enjoyed these sessions because it's made me do things I would never do. I actually really enjoyed it and found I did things that surprised myself, which is always exciting. I think it is such a challenge to, you know, those awful stereotypes around the idea that somehow people on the spectrum are not creative or they haven't got emotions or all those sort of awful ideas. Um, it just is such proof of how creative, how amazing, the different styles, the different approaches, really unique voices, but really taking a different perspective. And for me, that's just been incredibly inspiring. It's just really sort of built this lovely sense of community and it's been an absolute pleasure. So thank you so much. Very incredible journey, meeting a lot of people, getting some new ideas, my writing experience. It helps me improve my skills. It's just a very free-flowing environment to be in, and it's completely different than other other sort of writing groups that, are, that I'm in actually, because it all just flows out, you know, straight away onto the page. You don't know what challenge is going to be thrown at you, and you think I can't think of anything, but then you just go for it, and it's made me start writing again and thinking that writing is is possible and also a sort of necessary part of life. Personally, I've learned such a lot and it's just been a huge, huge help to just be with other writers who who understand where I'm, where I'm coming from and that's never really happened before. Being around so many different people that kind of are so different. Yeah, the, the groups really kind of helped my mental health and helped my self-confidence and all that. I just kind of focus more on the things that I feel like I can't do or that I'm like mm -hmm. kind of limited by. And it's really helped me think more about, you know, actually, these are the things I can do and to kind of yeah. lean into them. And I guess it's nice kind of being around people, you know, just people that get it. You, we don't mm -hmm. necessarily always talk about it, but it just it feels a bit, you know, I guess it's easier to like accept yourself. I've enjoyed, you know, just hearing what everybody's created every time. It's just um, delight, life affirming. In little boxes on the screen, our faces sat side by side, bound by stories of islands and shared thought processes. We found solace in silences and community in words. Go and live with the flow, that's what my friends call it. But how do you begin to explain the overwhelming sense of anxiety that comes with not having a plan? For them, a plan is something you must execute. But for me, the plan is my safety net. For just in case the world around me becomes too intense, too loud, it's a thing that gives me my oasis of tranquility in an otherwise chaotic life. Hey, my name's Jake and I'm a police officer and I hate superheroes. I hate them because they go around saving people instead of leaving it up to us, the professionals. Plus, they're the number one cause of property damage in the city. I mean, do they even pay taxes, huh? Who is Doctor Who? He just goes around being all fancy, telling everyone how he will save the world. I'd like to see him try. He can't even do it well. His banana of a screwdriver is just dumb. It can't even go against us, or deadlock seals, or wood. There is no point. I am the painter, hands brushing, jabbing, scraping. I am the conductor, arms reaching, pointing, waving. I am the pianist, fingers poking, tapping, drumming. I am the dancer, legs pacing, twisting, stomping. I am the vocalist, lips cussing, whistling, scatting. I am the imposter, mask covering, acting, faking. Fear got me out of my comfort zone to the point I was actually meeting people in person. I've, I've really enjoyed it and, and I really hope there's more of it, this kind of stuff in the future. It's been really, really enjoyable and thought provoking time and I agree, I really hope that there'll be more to come in the future. I've had some extremely busy times over the last few months that have been quite stressful, but um, this has been um, a, a real light in the middle of it all. And um, I'm always in such a hyper and, and happy mood at the end of each of our sessions because I always just feel like, oh, that was really fulfilling. What does my rage smell like? 
the sulfurous whiff of a struck match. What does my disappointment smell like? Rotting food in the bin thrown away because I didn't use it. What does my feeling of not being listened to smell like? It fills my nose and mouth like drowning, like the lingering tang of chlorine after swimming underwater at the pool. What does my fear smell like? The cold and dusky smell of being out on the street with nowhere to go. What does my regret smell like? The bitterness of blackened food burnt onto an aluminium pan. <laughs>